guys. Happy Friday. I wanted to hop in and share a really quick idea that I know has been going around and I know some people have different ways of doing this, but this is just one because I was able to find these pots at Joanne Fabrics on sale. So I got them really good price and I'm going to make a potted pumpkin diffuser in one spot. So this is how you do it. I'm putting a cup inside of it because I want to be able to take my succulent out afterwards. I put some fine gravel in the bottom to help with drainage. I have um, some potting soil that is specifically for cactus and palm and citrus. And I'm gonna put that in without getting too much dirt all over my kitchen. And <laughs> after I put some of that in, then I'm going to take my succulents you can get succulents in groups of three or sometimes one, but I got them in groups of three because they're smaller that way. And I just love that you can kind of be a little more flexible. So you put your succulents in, I already have two in here, and then you kind of just wanna fill it in with extra soil. Now, if you can't find good drainage soil, um, the trick is to add some charcoal activated charcoal to that if you need to. But you can usually find drainage soil. Um, like I said, it just wants to be cactus or palm or citrus. So it's really for drier drought tolerant plants. Because that's what these are. They don't need a lot of water. You don't want to overwater them. You can see I just put the soil in. I've got my succulents in there, two little succulents for this one. And then you can add decorations. I got a couple of different decorations at Joanne Fabrics. They had these little cotton things that you could hot glue on. I know I saw some people make these where they were hot gluing. They were taking a succulent out of the soil, rinsing off, I guess, the dirt, and then hot gluing it on. Hopefully Stephanie will let us know how she did that. She did it that way. So she hot, they hot glued them onto real pumpkins. Um, since I found these awesome planners, I kind of decided to do it that way. And then you can take these and I put them on little flowering wires. And you go ahead and you add them in for your decoration. The cotton acts as a diffuser if you want it to, because you can go ahead and put drops of oil on there and be able to um, diffuse oils in small areas, especially. It works well, like in a bathroom or on a table. So I just kind of added a couple little decorations in there. You can see it obviously needs to be wiped off with a towel. One other really great idea, because this is kind of fun and I have a bunch of these hanging around, is a wine cork. So I just took a little piece of um, flower wire and I poked it into the end of a wine cork. And you can use that, you can kind of do it either way with the wine side down or the other side down, whichever. It just pokes straight in. And then you can put that in kind of like a stem if you want to. And that can go in. And the cool part about that is that can also be a diffuser. If you go ahead and put a drop of oil on a wine cork, the cork absorbs essential oil really well. I'm going to share in the link an idea for how you make diffuser bombs. But basically, it's combining a bunch of essential oils into a bottle so that you can make your own DIY blend. And then once you've done that, this one's pumpkin spice. It's also what I have in the diffuser. You can just add a drop or two of that to your absorbent parts on your succulent diffuser. My favorite thing to add, to, if you want something that's also absorbent is a little bit of colored moss. This is always nice around the edges just to kind of cover up the gaps in the soil. And there we go. We've got a pumpkin succulent diffuser all set. Perfect little decoration. A great gift for around this time for anybody hosting too. So let me know if you have any questions and I will try and share some close-up photos too. If you're local to Pittsburgh, we're doing two workshops on this this coming month. 